Welcome to the Tool Review Channel and for today's video we are taking a look at the Klein Tools D2000-48 diagonal cutters. Now these are very similar to the D2000-28 diagonal cutters from Klein Tools but these feature an angled head and as them being a part of the D2000 series these can cut through uh, some of your harder materials uh, like screws, nails, staples and I believe they can also cut through ACSR as well. Uh, like most reviews, we're going to start off by taking a look at the tool itself. So this tool features the typical D2000 um, dipped handles on the tool, which is nice. You can also get this with the uh, journeyman style handles as well, where they are black and uh, blue. And they are that soft, kind of hard rubber handle. I prefer the dipped handles because I, you can fit a, a lot more of them in your tool bag rather than the big bulky handles on the comfort grip style of pliers. And then coming up to the uh, front of the plier, you can see you have the Klein Tools name uh, laser etched onto the surface. And you also have the Klein Tools logo at the year they were established. And like most Klein pliers, uh, they are made here in the United States. So you're going to have that on the front of the plier. And then you also have the model number. And then you have some warnings right there. They're telling you, you know, always wear eye protection. And that this tool isn't insulated and it's not going to protect you from electrical shock. And then you have a fairly large cutting edge right here. And you can see that there is a fairly nice um, grind on the plier as well. And then flipping it over to the other side, it's relatively the same. Uh, no laser etching or anything, but it's pretty much the same finish. And you can see this joint has a lot of oil coming out of it. I did not actually have to oil this tool at all. Uh, that is how it has come out of the packaging, which is always a plus. Um, there and there you can see a little bit better of an angle uh, for the angled head and that's that comes in nice when you have to when you're either trying to get under something and you're trying to cut what's ever on there or maybe trying to get on there and pry it off so that little angle uh, gives you a little bit better of an advantage rather than just kind of going in there straight with the narrow pair of diagonal cutters um, so that's pretty much it for the detail we'll get to some of the functionality now here so like most client players um these ones actually are surprising, unlike most kind of buyers, I should say. Uh, these pretty much came broken in, which is always nice. And you can see there's a bunch of oil coming out of the rivet right there. Um, so it is nice to see that I was able to get a pair that was pretty much broken in and ready to go. Uh, some client pliers, you're going to have to break them in. That's pretty typical with their alignment pliers where they have that break-in process uh, before they become loose. Uh, and it, it does affect some of their, of their uh, diagonal cutters and needle nose pliers as well. Uh, but that's... Uh, story for another day uh, so we're going to test out the functionality of these guys so we're going to first start off with our smallest gauge wire right here which is the uh, 18 solid wire we'll go ahead and chop through that and these guys have no problem chopping that 18 gauge solid wire uh, chopped it up into shreds so now we'll bring in some 18 gauge stranded wire and we'll go ahead and chop this up as well and as you guys can see right there, the cutting jaws, or the cutting knives, I should say, on here are fairly strong and have no problem going through this small gauge wire, which is a plus. So we'll set that off to the side and bring in our next wire, which is going to be some 14 gauge uh, solid wire right here, solid core conductor. And these have, again, not an, there's no issue uh, cut through this 14 gauge solid wire. So we'll set that off to the side and bring in our 14 gauge stranded wire and see if we can get through this as easy as all the other ones. And we indeed are able to just cut through that 14 gauge uh, strand of wire without an issue. So now I'll bring in some 12 gauge solid wire right here. And we'll go ahead and see if we can have these same results. And we are able to have the same results. And as the wire size does increase, you'll start to hear a little bit more snapping as it is pretty obvious uh, with the 12 solid wire. Uh, on the stranded wire, you don't really hear it as much. Uh, you, sometimes you can hear it, but generally you tend to hear that snapping sound more when you're cutting through some solid core conductors. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and chop through this. You can kind of hear it, but you can't hear it as much uh, when you're cutting through the 12 stranded. So that was 12 stranded. These guys have no problem chopping through that. So we'll bring in our 10 solid and listen to that snapping sound. It'll be a little bit louder with this one. You can, you can kind of hear it, but you don't really feel it in your hands, which is nice. Um, so that's always a plus, especially if you're going to be using these for a prolonged period of time. Uh, you don't want to have that, you know, feel that in your hands all day if you're chopping through some thick material. So now we'll bring in our 10 solid wire right, or 10 stranded wire right there. And again, just like all the other conductors, we're able to chop through them without an issue. So now that we have that off to the side, or all that done, we're going to bring in some 
18.5 thermostat wire and we're just really kind of seeing if we can cut through that insulation that runs throughout the uh, wire. Um, we'll go ahead and chop that and we are have no issue getting through the insulation on all five of those 18 gauge wires. And then for a little bit of a visual perspective, here is a piece of that insulation. It's just a larger uh, piece of it that came out of some MC. Um, and this is basically what I'm trying to see if it is sharp enough to cut through. So we'll go ahead and see if we can cut this piece of insulation. And we indeed are able to chop that piece of insulation without any issue and send it flying into the background. So that's always a plus. Uh, so that is uh, pretty much it for the wire. I will test out some Romax here. So we're going to first start off with some 14.2 uh, with ground and see how well we can chop through this. Um, we have no issue uh, chopping through that, which is nice. So we'll set that off to the side and bring in some 12.2 uh, with ground. And we'll see if we can chop through that. Definitely you can chop through it one-handed um, without any issue. So we'll go ahead and take that stuff and set it off to the side and bring in a little bit harder of material. So we're gonna see if we can cut through some screws here. So I have a 632 screw and an 832 screw here. We're gonna see if we can cut through both. Now these pliers are rated to cut through uh, screws. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and cut through a couple of screws and see how well they do. So first we're gonna start off with the 632 count screw and they are able to chop through that without an issue, which is nice. Um, there is no gap in the blade uh, whatsoever. Um, so they definitely can handle a 632 screw. Now we're going to go ahead and bring in the 832 screw and see if we can have the same results and see if we're able to do it with one hand. And we definitely are able to do it with one hand. It definitely takes a lot of strength, but you can definitely chop that 832 screw up without an issue. Now, one thing that I have been running into a lot with at work is some, this is some wire that is, um, in some flexible uh, ductwork, some flexible ductwork that you basically run the last five feet uh, coming off of your coming off your main, or if you have some ductwork that you snap together, you put flex on the end just to get it down to your diffuser or whatever you're hooking it up to. Uh, and typically, there's this wire that runs through it, and when you cut the um, the flex duct down to the length that you need to, you sometimes have to, or most of the time, have to cut this wire. Uh, so that's one thing that I I have been using these diagonal cutters for is cutting wire are specifically cutting this wire and as you see right there these have no problem chopping through that kind of sends it flying uh it doesn't happen like that in real life since it's just two pieces of duck and you're just separating them uh but this is just a piece that i took out from a piece of scrap uh duck work that i had and then another thing that i also run into a lot is this uh ceiling wire this holds up a ceiling grid uh in a commercial building and sometimes they tear all the old wire out sometimes they don't uh, and a lot of the times you have to go in and just cut the stuff out of your way so it's not poking you in the back uh, and getting in your way. So, you know, I always have my handy dandy diagonal cutters on me. So let's see if these kinds can cut through that. Uh, and they indeed are able to cut through that without an issue. And it's a fairly nice and easy cut as well. Uh, so that's really going to do it for um, all the stuff we're going to test through. And you can see there's a bunch of oil just coming out of that rivet, uh, which is, you know, it's always a plus. Uh, I do like that they are broke in, which is fairly nice. A lot less work that I have to do trying to break them in or using them where they're super stiff. Um, but overall, these are definitely a nice high quality pair of diagonal cutters from Klein. Now these are a high leverage design, which that features the, the long eight inch handles and the rivet that is super close to the cutting edge, which as you saw with that rivet being close to the cutting edge, we had a hell of a lot of time, a hell of a lot easier of a time cutting through some of the conductors and some of the harder material rather than if that rivet was set back i probably would have struggled with a lot of the with especially with the romex and the hard uh hardened the hard two hardened wires i just cut through and the screws i would have had, definitely had a challenge with that but you know being a high leverage design you don't really have an issue with that. Um, the angled head is also a plus on here as well. I'm actually going to be looking forward to using these a lot at work, um, tearing apart some duckboard. Um, seems like uh, a lot of the time tearing down duckboard, you always you're always going to run into staples that staple the tape to the duckboard so that the tape doesn't come off. Uh, and sometimes you know you you just your standard utility knife will just hit those. Uh, most of the time you can pull them out with you know, your utility knife, but sometimes you can't. And I am looking forward to trying these guys out on them. Uh, Cause right now I am just using a normal pair of diagonal cutters, uh, but it would be nice to kind of have the angled head so I could just, you know, hook onto it and just pry it out. Uh, just kind of like pry it out like that. So I am looking forward to trying that. 
Um, but that's really about it for this review. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, but that's all I have. So thank you for watching and play, please stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded.